Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on solving a couple interesting geometry problems. Here we have an exterior angle. Exterior just means it's the angle standing outside. Outside of what? Outside of this triangle. It's being excluded almost. Okay, there's a theorem that says exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two that's not touching it. So basically, they're telling you the clue that this one is equal to 42 plus 9x minus 4. Okay, if you can get this one, then it's pretty easy to solve from there onward. It's just a simple one variable equation. Let's do a quick run on it. I'm going to do subtracting 9x minus 8 on both sides minus 9x. So basically I did two steps here. I minus 8 on both sides and then minus 9x. So basically I'm moving on the 9x over. I have a 3x equals to 42 minus 4 minus 8. And you can see x is equal to, here's the 30 here on this side. So it's 30 divided by 3 or x equal to 10. Okay, so that's the also for the first one. Now, if you're interested in how to prove that, it's not that big deal, actually. Um, for a while, it looks like it's a mystery. But if we call this one A, call this one B, and call this one C, let's call this one uh, alpha, something unrelated almost. Now, you can see that A plus B plus C equal to 180, because that's inside the triangle. Okay. Also, alpha plus c is equal to 180. That's because c and alpha are supplementary angles, and they form a line over here. So by equating the parts, you can even see here, c is the same, 180 is the same. So alpha has to equal to a plus b. That's the theorem we used here. Exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two angles it's not touching. Okay, no big mystery there. All right, second one here. Now, this one is an interesting one. It doesn't have a lot of clues, but you have to learn how to read them. If they give you three sides the same, this is a very special triangle in that it's called a equilateral. It's everything is equal, kind of like a communist country. Every single angle is 60, all the sides are the same. All right, now having have read the first clue over here, you can read the next clue. Next clue says, look, the angle that's not touching it, that's still called alpha. Alpha is equal to the sum of the other two. So alpha has to equal to 120 then, 60 plus 60. All right, now let's look into the triangle that's on the side. They gave in the clue, this one is equal to this one. So basically we have a, not equilateral, but a sasolus. A sasolus says, look, I only have two sides the same, and here's 120, which means this one has to be an x as well. A sasolus has the property that two sides are the same and the two angles are the same. So basically, 120 plus x or plus 2x equal to 180, because this is the sum of the triangles. And then from here, you had 2x equal to 60 or x equal to 30. That's pretty easy to solve as well. Okay, so you just have to read clues. Now, one more interesting one. We're giving a mid-segment. There's a 45 here, and there's 4x minus 10. Of course, we're supposed to find x. So mid-segment is really a ratio. You have a one triangle look like this. That's the top small one. Okay, And then you have this gigantic one. Let's draw this gigantic one on the side. Uh, that's on this way. I'm running out of room here. As you can see, this triangle is half of this triangle. So everything that's corresponding, it's always half then. So 45 is off the small triangle here. And the long, big triangle here is 4x minus 10. So 4x minus 10 ratio-wise is 1 to 2 ratio. Okay. This is the small triangle. Here is the big triangle. So from here, the quickest way you can get rid of this fractional equation is doing this, what, what I call diagonal butterflies. It looks like a butterfly. Okay, so diagonal butterfly basically is saying you're going to multiply, cross multiply. So you have 2 times 45 is equal to 1 times 4x minus 10. 90 here equal to 4x minus 10. 
or basically we have 100 equal to 4x, and then obviously x is equal to 25. All right, that's the solution. Hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I think I already said that. Um, I hope I made a learning math fun. At least I'm trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.